Hi right, folks, Friday morning. Hope you're all well. Thank you for your comments and likes. Welcome new subscribers as always. As you saw, yeah, we've had some issues with that. In a better mood today after uh, we got it sorted. So yeah, all the lights are on this morning. It's a bit darker. We've had a bit of rain overnight, which is good. Dampen the dust down, make the crops grow because they're a little bit, uh, get a bit dry here. Some of the maize is uh, not looking particularly great. So I was uh, watching JT's Barn and Grill this morning, about quarter to five. And uh, yeah, I've seen this crop over there, oh, four or five foot high, getting on, well done. And he's uh, putting his new tire on his little far more tractor and moving his snowmobile. So yeah, had a photograph sent to me, forwarded from one of my customers of uh, Farmer Phil's Yellow 1200. Looking sharp, it's on its wheels, it's mobile, ready for their event. I think it's tomorrow. Well, Sunday, I think, from what I can gather. So, yeah, fair play to them. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, carry on tidying up this morning because we didn't finish it yesterday because we had to go for parent time and I'd had enough. So, uh, we'll brush up, pack the tools away and see what we get up to for the rest of the day. Who knows? So, we have the wiper motor out of that one. We're just going to do a little test to make sure uh, it works. So... What we got plugged in here? A couple of wires. Can't do this one handed. Put that in that one there. We should. Right, back to it. That's also the fast speed. On the green and blue, let's try the red and green. That works, slow speed. Okay, we can give that a clean up. Put it in the roof of the cab out the way. So we've uh, just worked out which wire is which for the wiper. Obviously four connections, you've got a power, fast speed, slow speed, and the supply to bring it back to the park. So we've just written it down now on a bit of paper so we know which one goes where. So, We'll clean that up, mate. Well, that's a lot cleaner. But you see uh, all the wires. We've cleaned clean the terminals out as well. So, uh, yeah, we can uh, go and get this one uh, put in the cab. Out the way. I could have made the hole a little bit bigger because me and me fans, I can't get in there. But socket on a thingy. We can get in there. Only going one way round on this. The orientation of the hole is a bit of an odd, odd shaped triangle. But at least that's in. Say the wiring, just say when it comes through the heater box, it's literally just run it through and plug it in the back of the motor. And moving on a little bit more, we've got the bottom guard dropped in there. 1250's had these to protect the pipe that comes from the drop box to the tank. We've got the cross shaft for the brake, so we'll get that lifted in, drop the bolts in, and we can get the linkage put on the uh, slave cylinders down to those for the handbrake. As with all these things, the bolts and the nuts that you need to put in are in the most inaccessible place. I think I've got a dirty lens, it's looking a bit not better. And the same that side, buried in between the tank. And you've got the bracket, the strengthening bracket there, so it's a job to get your fingers in to get to anything. But, yeah, belly guard plate in. See, yeah, that's all, that's all dry on that one. That's good, but we'll run it up again at some point and double check and double check. Well, look what's arrived. <laughs> the, the 399 <laughs> has turned up. Oh dear. There he is. Morning, Dave. <laughs> oh, James, are you having another piss there? No. <laughs> uh, oh, you got a leak. Yeah. Good job, I got the bits to hopefully sort it. <laughs> Thank goodness. You know what you're doing for the rest of the day? Washing this off. <laughs> You'll love that, won't you? Yeah. Uh, you better watch yourself tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to Christmas for another drink sometime soon? Yeah. When's that? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, I best I go in then. Yeah. I, got, I got to witness this one. <laughs> oh dear. You, are you going to have the falling down water again? No. <laughs> Not no, have no, a little no. rum? 
or two. Or no, three. only the whiskey. Oh, uh, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey and cider. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a laugh then. <laughs> right, instant fix. So you can see the, the rubber hose has, 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 has perished. So, uh, so James, 44, 45. Or triple, um, triple four, five. Yeah, I got a air pipe um, gone on it. Air pipe? Yeah, for uh, what runs to the, to the turbo. Okay, right. And the um, boil this morning. I hope yeah, it's just the duplicate kit, come on. We'll have a look at it. Yeah. We'll, we'll pop down later and have a look. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. The 44, 45, again. Dear. <laughs> anyway, that's fixed dish for that's now. Randomly, our days change. We got that moved out of the way. Still a few little things left to do, but not for MOT, thankfully. So uh, we'll get that moved for her to clean up. And I'll go and look at this 44, 45. Hopefully just a loose Jubilee clip. We'll see. But at least we can get dirty doing this. She has all the best jobs, really, doesn't she? Apparently another thing to do is, I think the neutral switch is playing up. So I had to show me how to do it properly. A bit of wire on there, not shorting the, stir the terminal, so. <laughs> But, because we had the fuel problem, now we're going to have to bleed it up. Sure. Well, the clutch, yeah. Push it down. It's not good. Push it through the floor, you can get it in. But, it, yeah. It's going to need some TLC. It's rested the occasion already. Stop. I'll be ready. I'll be ready with the stop to stop. Say this looks long because you like long, don't you? But it's only long because it's got the fuel tank right out the front there. But it's a dot four Perkins six three five four in there, same as that one in the workshop. But yeah, it is. Uh, it's got a very long bonnet on it. Good luck with that. I'm going down the road a minute. I suggest you start in the cab first. <laughs> Don't get too dirty. Oh, you already are. Huh. Plans change again. Go have a look at the safety start on this. Apparently it's not working or it's not set up right. So I want to have a quick check on the 44, 45, which Jubilee clip tightened up. I'll have a quick look at this one. So he's gone to get the key. Here he comes. <laughs> it's starting. That's working. Right, lift that up. Nothing works now. Hey, you just need an expert here, James. All I needed was that. Are you happy now? Yeah, a lot happier. <laughs> well, I'm back. I don't know how um, clean and wet dirty is going. Oh, oh dear. Just take my legs. <laughs> Yeah, you're dirty. No. Where uh, did you park it? Oh, the handbrake don't work. It's moved. <laughs> You've never seen me move so fast in my life. Oh. Should I get a wheel chock? Yeah, <laughs> the cab's looking a bit, a bit clean. Got a we got a, we got a swimming pool. <laughs> but at least we can see stuff. Uh, you got black leggings on now. Yeah. <laughs> You love it, really. Yeah. <laughs> right, While well, she's busy out there getting herself dirty and a bit moist, light switch for this one. Sorry, wrong finger. For this one here. Obviously, as you're aware, this has been stood up for 25 years in a rather sorry state. But yeah, the cab is looking good. Light switch needs some attention because, well, you see there's no bit in there. But we have got the remains of the bit. So I need to try and extract said shaft out with the broken cap and see if we can do something with the actual switch. See if we can get any life out of it and try and glue that bit back in the hole and see if we can get something to work. Because these are unique to these with how they function. Side lights, main beam, side lights, work lights, work lights, totally different from anything else 
So we've got to try and save this little bit as best as we can. You get new ignition switches, not a problem, but these, uh-uh. Rusty cap removed. Also a little pin there. Pushed it in, well, with a bit of uh, persuasion, and it stayed in, but a bit of careful, uh, bit of squirty in there. It's now free again. It actually uh, does its spring-loaded bit, like it should do, if we can get that on there. It moves in and out. That's a bit done. Right, so we've just given this a pin blast, cleaned all the terminals up. We've made sure it's in the off position to get the orientation of this right. Obviously you've got the little knob denoting off on the top, so that hole should be on the bottom. And the flat on there is on the bottom when it's in the dash. So now we'll uh, connect the meter up onto the terminals and hope and pray we've got continuity on all the ones that should be. Otherwise we're going to have to take it apart and clean them up. Well the answer is no, nothing. <clears throat> so we'll just have to prise these little uh, indents out, get it out. I expect the terminals are all cruddy and dirty inside so Another careful little tiny job to do to resurrect something you can't replace. I think she's still out there busy getting dirty, hopefully. So I'll do the nice intricate job. I'll get this out. Obviously I've made note marked a line there and a pen mark down there somewhere so I know exactly where it's gotta go. So we'll have a look, see what oh it's a bit of, bit of green in there. So we'll carefully clean all those contacts up inside. A little bit of memory paper and hopefully we can get it to work well perseverance pays off i don't know if we i can do this one-handed but we have got uh i think i've got it uh, right that's off that's the power should be nothing side lights we have working Side lights, dip. Side lights, main beam. Main beam, work light. Just work light. So we've managed to save it. Hoorah. It's taking a bit of fiddling and faffing, but very carefully we have a functional light switch. Well, time's going on today. I'd better go and retrieve her from uh, washing this uh, 399 off because it's nearly time to go and pick her kids up. And it's Friday and it's raining. So she's going to be proper wet. Oh, dear. You look absolutely lovely. I thought I'd better come and rescue you because it's like you got 10 minutes till parent time you need to have a bit of a wipe down because you're minging but oh look it's, it's looking a bit cleaner i am almost done you, you're done aren't you almost look, look at that if looks could kill <laughs> with dirt that's looking all right oh gosh we can see the engine that's looking uh yeah because that was absolutely covered so i think the girl's done good obviously left a good mess everywhere yeah well done shame that you're uh, a bit moist anyway you better let that do for today for this yeah, week off the bits that loose, that do. okay well i got it on the ramps I'm going to have to finish cleaning this off tomorrow, but we'll get it lifted up in the air and get everything underneath done. It's looking a bit cleaner, but we like clean stuff to work on, not crap everywhere. Morning, folks, Saturday morning. I had a quick trip yesterday. Picked up uh, decals for 12.50, that one there, and a set of 1,200 stuff for another customer. Yeah, what a week. I'm going to put... Um, some wellies on. I'm going to have to finish washing that uh, 399 off underneath to uh, get it ready so we can have a shifty round and get it put up there. But at least it'll be clean to work on and deal with the problems it's got. It's certainly going to be a clutch. 
but there is an oil leak somewhere on splitter box or something, but till we get in there, we don't know. So yeah, as I say, challenge this week on that, but hopefully overcome. Uh, so yeah, and the guy who won the uh, little trophy, he's coming to collect it this morning, bringing his young apprentice with him. So uh, yeah, it'd be good to see him. Well, that's a lot cleaner than it was. Hopefully we've got everywhere in and around, underneath. Cabs, uh, yeah, a bit rotted, but I'll have to clean the floor up. And hopefully I'm not as dirty as Apprentice was yesterday. Right, so we've got the decals for the cab. Let's get some identity on this thing. <clears throat> so that's going to have to sit on there. Giving it a wipe over and clean up. Got the tape on it. We'll offer it up. Stick it in place, then we can peel the backing off. Bit of uh, soapy water, so we can adjust it and get it on. All right, so we've done some measuring, and we've got that pretty well equal there, through there. And it should be about right through the top of that. So we'll uh, put a piece of tape all the way over, peel the backing off, and get uh, smoothing over. Not too shabby, if I say so myself. It's starting to get his identity back. Let's try the other side now. A little bit more involved on this side, because I'll see it's the door. So we've got to cut down through there and cut it to fit around the door and make sure we've got the end not sat on the weld so it is on the flat. So we've got it again measured through there. That's all parallel. So we'll uh, get a nice straight edge, cut that down there. At least we know they're lined up because they're all taped in place. And there's another one fitted. Looking okay. Let's get the one on the back of the fuel tank now. I just will sooner have them stuck on now, out the way so they don't get damaged in the meantime. And the one on the fuel tank is fitted. I measured the depth off the old tank, so it's about 120 mil from there down to there. So that should be correct. And there's another decal fitted on there for the blower box with the uh, wiper switch holes and that. That one's on. And there's a few more insignificant ones fitted on the back for the tipping ports and the warning for the drawbar. And we just put the Micronic filter one on there as well so yeah a bit of progress this morning anyway the uh, winner of said trophy was coming up this morning but uh, he's had to go back to work so that'll be for another day so in the meantime i'm gonna let that do because this video is getting on a little bit now and i don't want to bore you too much with anything going too long so thank you for watching drop us a comment give us a like give us a subscribe give us a share send us a postcard so enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. So in the meantime, take it steady. Laters.